Hello, and welcome back to Ocean Inverts. Today we are going to be delving into the internal structure of sea stars and their water vascular system, which is how they are able to move their arms and bodies. Sea stars are part of the phylum Echinodermata, the class Asteroidea, and the genus we are focusing on today is Henricea, a small, orange sea star found on the Pacific coast. After drawing our sea star, the features we are going to be labeling are the madreporite, the pore that is part of the water vascular system, the central disc, the arms, and the mouth. Pause the video here and try to label these features using this picture of Henricea as a guide. Now, let's label our sea star. Now, let's discuss how the water vascular system works. The basic mechanism powering the water vascular system is water being pushed through a series of canals, creating force for the sea star to move their arms. The water is first sucked in through a pore called the madreporite. It then travels down the stone canal to the ring canal, where it's then distributed to the five radio canals within each arm. Along the radio canals, are bulbs called ampullae that are attached to the tube feet or podia. Here is a more detailed drawing of the relationship between ampullae and podia. The ampullae contract, pushing water into the podia that then elongate them. Sea stars have many, many of these podia, which elongate and contract at the same time, resulting in movement. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Ocean Inverts. We hope you learned something new and that you'll join us for our next episode soon.